Hello there. This is Chris Hurd, Associate Professor of Religion at Pepperdine University, here to share with you some hints and tips, especially on the topics of teaching and learning with technology. This episode's hint focuses on using an iPad to enter text into the Sakai Learning Management System. Here at Pepperdine University, we've rebranded our installation of Sakai, and we call it Courses, so I'll frequently use that name for the system. If you're watching from somewhere other than Pepperdine, these tips should apply to any installation of Sakai, no matter how it's been reskinned or rebranded. To illustrate the challenge iPad users face when entering text on courses or on Sakai, I'll try to start a new thread in one of my sandbox forums. As you can see, I have no trouble entering text into the title field. I simply tap and type, and everything behaves as it should. However, when I tap on the message field to edit it, I get no response at all. It's almost as if Courses doesn't recognize the tap as valid input for this field. At this point, I have two choices for typing text into this field. The choice that I make depends on how much control I want over the formatted results. If I simply want to type some plain text and be done with it, the easiest thing to do is tap on the Paste Plain Text icon, that is, the icon that looks like a clipboard with the letter T on a yellow box. I'll almost always need to scroll back up the page a ways to see the entire pop-up layer. Now I can tap inside the box and type my text. When I'm finished, I can tap OK, and my text will be transferred to the larger text field underneath. Again, this is the easiest workaround to implement, but it gives me no control over formatting. Notice that I can select text in the large field now, but the formatting controls don't work. If I want to format my text, I'll have to use HTML markup. I can view the markup by tapping on the Source button in the Rich Text Editor. But even at this point, I can't just tap on the text field and start typing. Try as I might, Courses doesn't recognize my tapping as valid input. Fortunately, there's a clunky but effective workaround. If I tap on the text field, then tap in any other editable field that actually works, including the Mobile Safari Search field, I can then tap the editor again. It's usually going to take two taps, actually and then begin typing as normal. By clicking on source again, I'll be able to see the results. So let's change some of the formatting just to show that this really, in fact, works. and the text now displays according to the formatting I entered in the HTML source. Unfortunately, the Tap Elsewhere trick doesn't work when the formatted text is actually being displayed. One more unfortunate thing. Copy and paste don't work inside courses when accessed via mobile Safari on the iPad. Therefore, if I want to get text into these free response fields, the only way to do it is by actually typing the text in one of the methods that I've just shown. 